Since 2010, I've been an active associate member of the Rocky Mountain Submarine Veterans Gym Brigade. During that time, I've had the honor of honoring the burial of 13 U.S. servicemen and submariners from the World War II, Korean, and Cold War eras. Today, it will be my honor to supervise burial number <laughs> Welcome to Fort Logan, where since 1950, our nation has honored her fallen warriors and patriots. The stones of granite, walls of marble, and bronze memorials scattered throughout the cemetery stand as a lasting tribute to the men and women who have faithfully served our nation over these many years. Many great Americans are buried here, including three Medal of Honor recipients, seven Buffalo soldiers, two Navajo co-talkers, and one World War II German POW. Yes, this used to be a POW camp. Each and every one of them holds something in common. When their nation called in a time of need, they raised their hands and said, send me. And such is the life and legacy of our brother we lay to rest today. Let us pray. Almighty God, we look to you today in the midst of our grief for solace and comfort. Our hearts are heavy under the weight of loss, and we look to you for help in bearing this burden. Tender to us, dear God, the care that comes from the heart of a father who knows the pain of loss as we look forward to the day when our mourning will be turned to dancing and our sorrow to joy. Grant us this day a renewed sense of your unyielding presence. We pray this in the life-giving name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So why are we here at Fort Logan on such a cold day? Radio in first class, Epi Valdez was born on 19 May 1930 in Tierra Amarilla, New Mexico. He enlisted on 12 February 48 at the age of 17. He did not, he was not yet 18 years of old when he enlisted in the U.S. Navy for submarine service in Denver, Colorado. When he left five years later, his physical attributes are listed on his discharge paper as black hair, brown eyes, five foot six, 160 pounds. He was one good looking sailor. <laughs> Following Navy boot camp, he completed sonar operator course, otherwise known as A school, followed by submarine school. He was assigned then to the USS Sea Poacher SS 406, a Vallejo class diesel electric submarine. That was the first hybrid vehicle in the world. He served a total of five years. Two years and 10 months and 14 days were at sea or foreign duty. His awards among many include the Good Conduct Medal. And in the notes section of his discharge paper, his cover to duty 214, it said that he on 10 February 53 achieved the rank of first class. He was pledging for chief. And by the way, the note said, recommend re-enlistment. They didn't want him to go. It's our privilege to recognize Readyman First Class Valdez for his uniform service as a proud submariner during the Korean War and his lifelong patriotism and service to God and country. He has received final orders from the Supreme Commander and now serves on eternal patrol. And now we'll proceed with the rendering of the military honors by the U.S. Navy. Thank you, Colonel. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. Navy is here today to provide final military honors for our shipmate, Epi. Though we did not, did not know Epi personally, we are connected to him through the bonds of the Navy service. There's a very special bond that exists between those who served in the Navy in the past, those who are currently serving, and those who will serve in the future. And this bond does not unravel with death, but it will continue on. The service today is going to consist of the playing of taps, before which I will ask you to stand at table, Place your hand on your heart. If you are prior military service or currently serving, it's perfectly acceptable to render a hand salute. Would you please stand? Present arms.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, Brother F. He has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome them to the table of God's children in heaven with faith and hope and eternal life. Let us now assist him with our prayers. And let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother Abby. <clears throat> and together may we be Christ Jesus when he is our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture. This is the will of the one who sent me, says the Lord, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. Almighty and ever-living God, in you we place our trust and hope. In you the dead, his bodies, were temples of the Spirit, find everlasting peace. As we now take leave of our brother Effie, give our hearts peace and a firm hope that one day Effie will live in the mansion you have prepared for him in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Effie from this life to himself, we commit his body. To its resting place. For we are dust, and the dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he has risen the firstborn from the dead. So let us command a brother Ebony to the Lord that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. For brother Ebony, let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, just that I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death, and whoever lives and believes me shall never die. Lord, you console Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us and mourn for Ebony. And write the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord and we respond. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> you wept to the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother at the eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You promise paradise to the repentant. Please bring heaven to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our brother Abby was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Abby was nourished with your body and blood. <clears throat> Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. And comfort us in our sorrow and death of Abby. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us join our hearts as one now, as we continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Epi. Let us now pray that beautiful prayer of forgiveness that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. <clears throat> through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I always like to pray in our Father, Hail Mary, and the glory be for all those that are insured here in Fort Logan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. 
grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You're attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest, grant unto him, O Lord, and may the faithful light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God which is beyond all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of the Son of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God descend upon all of you and remain with you forever, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Here, certificate to present to the family. Uh, one of the things that we say when a submariner dies, he's not really dead, but he's on eternal patrol. He will only come back when he is called about by our uh, Supreme Commander. In the certificate, it says, On eternal patrol in memory of Epimenio Epi Valdez. Our friend and shipmate has embarked on his final patrol upon receipt of heavenly orders from our Supreme Commander. He has shipped out to calm seas and warm breezes to join the company of his shipmates who have gone before him. He is welcomed by our loving God, safely navigating the seas of eternity. This memorial certificate is presented with love, esteem, and honor by his fellow <coughs> submariners. Rest your oars, shipmate. We have assumed your watch. Thank you for your service, excuse me. Thank you for your service in submarines. Always remember, never forgotten. to build a ship that was supreme, he returned to God with the best of all. It was a submarine. Then Gabriel turned to God and asked what more he could do. The Lord told him, go to earth, for his ship needed a crew. The angel left in search of men with diesel in their hearts and brought them back before the ship to marvel at its parts. The Lord rejoiced upon the crew, the greatest of the past, but once again he called his angel he had but one more task. What task could you have for me, Gabriel said with disbelief. You have the greatest ship and crew, God said, and now I need a chief. 
The angel brought the crew to God. They knelt before his fleet. We have a man to fill the void. He was the greatest in the fleet. The Lord asked, where is this man? But then his smile expired. The crew said, he's not passed away. He's merely just retired. So Gabriel left to find the man and turned, found him in his sleep. He whispered gently in his ear, it's time to go to sea. He brought him up to heaven for all the crew to see. And then the Lord asked him, will you be my chief? And so today we bid farewell as he joins the greatest fleet, a loving man to all he knew. And now he is God's chief. I encourage you to love one another in this coming times. Speak often, remember his name care for his widow and children. as our service draws to a close, I just have one last thing for you. On behalf of the Department of Veterans Affairs, the President of the United States, and a truly grateful nation, please accept this Presidential Memorial Certificate in honor of all that these sacrifices for our nation. And this binder is one certificate signed by the President. This form, so you may order as many of these as you require. Something that you fill out, mail in, or bring back to our office and I'll pass until you. Eva, you don't thank me. I work for the VA. The VA has never given you or Eppie anything he hasn't earned. This service was promised to him on the day he joined our Navy. And I just want to thank you for bringing him to me so I can fulfill that promise. At this time, as this does bring our service to a close, if you'd like to say a personal farewell, I invite you to do so. Afterwards, I just need everybody to return back to their vehicles so my team can come and carry Eppie uh, in place to his resting place. Now that's going to be ready for visitation after 4 o'clock this afternoon. Otherwise, we're open every day at sunrise and sunset. Again, on behalf of Fort Logan, I want to thank all of you for being here today. To help us render honor to every service and to celebrate his life. I always thank you for joining and leading us in worship today. Um, at this time, if you would like to say a farewell, I invite you forward.